What's up, what's up, and good morning. Before I get into this video, uh, please continue to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You'd be glad you did, and I'd be glad you did. Please check out my blog at www.theclowntimes.net. That's clowns with a K. You will also be able to find me on Facebook, so whether you're on a smartphone, laptop, desktop, wherever you are, where you may be, just type in The Clown Times, Dennis Clowns with a K, and you'll be able to find me there as well. Lots of and lots of surprises this NFL weekend, man. Um, <laughs> upsets galore, right? But let's start first in Pittsburgh, where my beloved Pittsburgh Steelers really unexpectedly beat beat the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Buccaneers 20 to 18. Tom Brady was kind of pedestrian. He was 25 or 40 for 243 yards and a touchdown. He got the hell beat out of him <laughs> yesterday to the point where he was berating his office lineman on the sidelines. Um, and this is, mind you, this is a Pittsburgh defense that's playing about three, three of its four cornerback, uh, defensive backs, including all those safety, Minka Fitzpatrick, did not have TJ, still, still, still is without TJ Watt. Uh, you know, he may be coming back in maybe the next two, three weeks, I guess. I'm not sure. And also that same offensive line that has been really offensive this, this, this entire season, but. Nevertheless, we were under man. We were like nine and a half point dogs at home, and we pulled it off. I mean, I don't know how, by the grace of Mike Thomas coaching glory, we did it. As for the Buccaneers, the state they're still early enough to turn around. It's only they're three and three. It's only six weeks in, but they don't look good. Tampa does not look good at all. I mean, the offense hasn't been clicking. They scored over 30 points once, and that's that was in the loss. Uh, and their defense is not playing up the snuff as well. I mean, and plus, remember Tom Brady has a thing that he's been dealing with off the field. I'm not going to mention it. Uh, we all know what it is. But at any rate, I think they're still turning around. I mean, I don't think the energy stop was that tough. I mean, the Fox are playing better. But, you know, uh, still, it's not, a, it's not a good look for Tampa. It's not good for Tom, especially going back to Tom Brady. He went, I, I, you know, I forgot to mention that he went to attend Robert Kraft's wedding, the owner of the Patriots, who he considers like a second dad. But it's one of those things you just don't do, especially because you to miss the walk through uh, the following day. So they, Tampa has a lot of problems. I, I believe they're going to turn around, but they may have they want maybe they may want to do it sooner rather than later because it's going to get tough later in the season. All right. So that's one surprise down. The other surprise, which is not really a surprise, but it's a surprise you've been following these two teams closely, is Buffalo going to Kansas City and beating the Chiefs 24 to 20. It was a great game, even though Patrick Mahomes made a lot of mistakes, well, a couple of big mistakes, two interceptions. Both Josh Allen and Mahomes threw over, for over 300 yards and at least two touchdowns. Josh Allen with three, Patrick Mahomes with, with two. But to me, it came down to the two interceptions and plus. Buffalo's defense just played better. They, they, they played well. To hold Kansas City to 20 points at their place, it's pretty damn ex extraordinary. Now, this, this, this is going to be interesting because how things may shape out in the playoffs if these two teams were to be again. And if Buffalo has to has a home field and have to go to, you know, Kansas City has to go to Orchard Park, that may be, that may be challenged, especially for the AFC Championship game, which I think I may have predicted early in the season, but Nevertheless, great win for the Bills, shock and loss for the Chiefs. I mean, I think the Chiefs are still in the driver's seat in the AFC West, so they'll be fine. But if this was a statement game in the AFC for Buffalo, I don't know what was. And another, not, not really a surprise, but I just want to bring up because of, of who lost. And that's the Dallas Cowboys. I was happy to see Philly beat the Cowboys 26-17 uh, last night, Sunday night football. Philly was up between the nothing. They almost blew the lead, which, was, which, meant, which tells me that this should have been a beat down of epic proportions, even though the final score was close. But still, Philly dominated this game from start to finish. And can we please pump the brakes on Cooper Rush, okay? He performed at no Admiralty to this point, uh, pretty well to this point. But last night he came out at 18 to 38, 181 yards, one touchdown, three interceptions. 
You know, Jalen Hurts, he didn't pass for much, many more yards. Well, he, he passed for 155, that's less. But he didn't turn over the ball. He was efficient, passed for two touchdowns. And the defense, Phillies defense came to play like I thought they would. That's what I've been saying to this point. And as long as defenses, where teams make their defenses, put the ball in Cooper Rush's hands, you mitigate the Cowboys. No matter how great the Cowboys defense has been, have been, have been playing, has been playing to this point, it's cool. You gotta, they got a backup quarterback. Put the ball in the backup quarterback's hands. They can beat you. Don't let like Zico Elliott get off like he pretty much did last night as well. Uh, 13 touches for 81 yards, carries 81, 81 yards right in the touchdown. Put the ball in Cooper Rush's hands. That's it. That's the blueprint. So whoever's playing the Cowboys next week and the weeks and weeks following, until Dak Prescott gets back in the lineup, put the ball in Cooper Rush's hands. You're welcome. All right, man. And I mentioned the surprises earlier. The amount of upsets. I am not doing well in my in my pickums pool. I am not doing well at all this season. There's been a lot of surprises, especially like this past week. You know, Washington beats, beats Chicago. You know, I picked the Bears. Of course, we talked, we talked like we talked about the Buccaneers and Steelers. The 49ers losing to the Falcons. The Patriots beating down the Browns. The Jets beating down the Packers and Green Bay. Really? I mean, it's on and on. I mean, the Giants beating the Ravens. You know, I don't like the Ravens, but still, that's an upset. And the Giants are playing well. And good and, and good for Saquon Barker that is finally healthy and he's playing like it. You know, even though, like, uh, Lamar Jackson helped him by not, by not having a great game. Um, and I, you know, I actually picked the cheap bills and I actually picked the Eagles. But still, it's been upsets galore this year, man. And this is it's a beautiful thing. This is what makes the NFL great. Is you never know. Year after year after year, there's at least one or two surprises. At least one surprise. I mean, last year it was the Cincinnati. So this year's surprise maybe looking like the Giants, maybe, right? They're five and one. Okay, second, second place in the MC East, which is all of a sudden the best division of football. Um, and you know, it's 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 you know, the Vikings are playing very well. They're five and one. The Jets, how about the Jets? But four and two, they're playing well. And, you know, I always pick at Jets fans in, in, the, in the Jets franchise. I always say Jets was a, it wasn't a a nanogram for Jets end the season. But it's not looking like it, man. The Jets are for real, man. You go to, you go to, um, anytime you go to Lambeau Field, make Aaron Rodgers look ordinary. Beat the, hold them to 10 points and beat them by double digits like the Jets did. I got to give the Jets their props. So you heard it here, Jets Nation. You heard it here, Jets fans. I'm giving your beloved team props. Something that I haven't done in a decade. I'm giving your team props, okay? So don't abuse it. Don't come at the be hard on social media. Just, just know I'm giving y'all props. So, again, I'm sticking in my picks. I don't know if I'll get it together this year. Maybe I'll try again next week with, with, uh, with my picks, but – this has been a shocking NFL season in the NFL season so far. And again, that's what makes the NFL so great. But no, on a year-to-year basis. All right, that's that's pretty much the video. Um, please, again, like, like I said earlier, please continue to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, check out my blog at www.theclowntimes.net. Excuse me, that's Clown Square K. Check me out on Facebook as well. So until next time, hopefully I get my picks together for next week's, but Till then, y'all take care. Have a great Monday. Peace.